And today we're going to talk about uh, a topic that is very important, and that is longevity. You know, of course, now you can go to some of the longevity conferences. People are living a long, well, longer on average than we have at any time in history. But what's interesting is if you look at the disab disability life expectancy, okay, in other words, this, you know, longevity, people are living to approximately around 80 right now. That's, that's, that's a reasonable age for people to live to. Of course, there's more centurions on the planet than there's ever been, and there's going to be even more in the next 5, 10 years. But ideally, this is the interesting statistic. And if you look at one of my earlier books called Vital Power, I talked about this, the disability adjusted life expectancy in North America is approximately 60 years old. And what does that mean? What that means is, is that the expectation, if you're living in a country like the United States, is that by the age of 60, you're going to have some disability that's compromising your lifestyle. Folks, this is really serious, and frankly, it's unacceptable. The Surgeon General, okay, has said that I think something like over 80%, you know, it changes a little bit year to year, of the illnesses or diseases that people are suffering from are lifestyle related. Now keep in mind, your medical doctor, and medical doctors have a very difficult job in this country. They're having a really challenging time keeping up with all the work and all the you know, environment and changes and insurance, all this stuff. Their job is to keep you alive. And they do this by either pro pro providing surgeries or medications. Many of these medications are for life because a medical doctor is trained to keep you alive. If you have, you know, you require surgery, like my friend, Dr. Horst Filter, we get along so well. He's a vascular surgeon from Harvard that put the first stent in the body. If you've got, you need a replacement in your heart valve, you want Horst working on you. If you're looking at, you know, how to improve your heart, exercise and training, you probably don't want to go to Horst. You want to go to an exercise specialist. If you are looking to improve your physicality, your lifestyle, your doctor is not the person. Now what's happened is science and medical technology has, you know, increased our lifespan. Things like antibiotics, okay? Now a lot of people get upset about that. They go, oh well, you know, it's the overprescription of antibiotics is a problem. The reality is, is antibiotics have saved millions and millions of lives. Before you got an infection, you just died, okay? Antibiotics have saved a lot of lives. The over-prescription of them, a problem. These lifestyle-based medications, you know, the things for, you know, uh, insomnia, you know, or the things for, you know, uh, acid reflux, these type of things, which are largely re related to your diet and your lifestyle, okay? So what is your lifestyle? What you eat, what you do. And I would say to another cent, who you hang out with. Because do not underestimate social pressure. Okay? And people just kind of do what their social peer group does. You know, when we were kids, you know, our parents said, oh, don't hang around with those people because they knew eventually you'd adopt those habits. So one of the great things about being plugged into this course is that you're getting social pressure from us. And of course, I hope you're checking in with the website. You know, you're being part of a social group who's committed to an optimal lifestyle, to not just living long, but living strong, to have a lot of vital power inside your body. And what I would suggest that you do is, if you want to get a, a good reading of where, you're, where you really are at, take a life expectancy test. We have a couple here referred at the website. You go in there and check that out. But find out what your life expectancy is. And then let's be realistic. You know, one of my mentors, Ty Lopez, um, you know, he's got the Book of the Day Club. I highly recommend it. It's great stuff. You can check out what he talks about. He says, The Shortness of Life. I believe it was a book by Seneca. The reality is 
let's say you sleep eight hours a day, right? Well, you eat, I mean, that right there is one third of your life gone. So if you're, for example, you know, it takes 20 years to just kind of figure out how to run on the planet. So if you're at 20, you only got 40 years left if you're following the regular program. So this is the expectation that you're going to be on permanent medications. You're going to have something that's holding you back from life. So playing hard, living at the highest level, you're going to be living a compromised lifestyle. Okay. That's the reality. Okay. If you live even to 80, okay, you've got 60 years left, but slice 20 of those off. You still only got 40. So start doing that. Then do your own life expectancy because this is going to get specific on your lifestyle habits right now. And boy, oh boy, when you read a test and you realize, well, I'm 45 years old and suddenly my life expectancy is 70. That means I only got 25 years left and you know, a third of them are out the window. So I've only got 16 years. I only got 16 years of awake time. That's why the urgency for taking control of your life. My personal opinion is, thanks to the combination of medical science that can deal with those acute traumas, the surgeries, the injuries, the infections, the things that took us out in the past, okay, that you wouldn't recover from, a combination of this with what we call alternative or holistic is what we're practicing, you get what's called an integrative model. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to uh, work as an advisor to the American Anti-Cancer Institute over the last years. And really, I believe this is the future, the integrative model. And what that means is, what I find is, you know, beware of rigid positions. A lot of people in the medical industry poo-poo all the alternative stuff or some of the things that we talk about or the holistic stuff because that's not their field. When they get sick, though, or they're, or they're you know, you're in, in this zone, guess what? They'll start experimenting with a lot of this other stuff. Same thing on the other side, in the alternative or the optimized field or the health industry. A lot of people poo-poo the medical science. And I think that's, that's very unsophisticated as well because who can argue with the, the leaps and bounds that we've made in this field you know, and, and how it has improved the quality of our lives. But if we want to live at the optimal level, we want it to be doing all the lifestyle things that we can. We want to be running the tests that we recommend and suggest in here. You want to have your Jedi Council of Health Experts, which we're going to talk about that in a future uh, lesson that's upcoming in the course. And you want to be able to bounce back and forth between these two so that you are not you know, stuck in one simple way to recognize there's benefits to both, both of these and how do you synthesize them into an integrative model. So let's say you get diagnosed with an illness or let's say you have a lifestyle-related illness. Get your you know, situation figured out with your doctor, but also consult an ND, consult an expert in this field and see how you can work together and build a model that works for you because basically time is running out. Life is short. None of us really know how long that we're going to live. And, you know, one of the personal things that I learned is, you know, way back when I was a young man at 18 years old, my sister died at, at the age of 22. And she died after a four-year treatment. She did all the medical model, you know, the chemotherapy, the radiation, and all that sort of stuff. And she went through that. And the one gift that I, that I took out of that, that tragic situation of my sister dying was, life is short and there's no guarantees. And, you know, why not live life to the best of your ability. Why not, you know, go for the golden goose, so to speak? Why not incorporate the things that we're suggesting? And the fact that you're here means that you're interested and that you want to take part of it. And hopefully by this time, you're actually experiencing this. But I wanted to continue to encourage you to go out there and express yourself physically, vitally, to really take charge of your life, to share this in your community and be a force of health and, 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 and power for your family and for the people in your sphere of influence. And before you know it, you're going to start creating a ripple effect and you're going to start attracting more things in your life. And life just takes on such a greater zest when you feel healthy, when you have that vibrancy, you can achieve more, you can do more, you can experience more. You're not living in that, you know, that 
de-energized, painful place. And if you are there now, I really, really want to reach out to you and say, hey, you know what? Take our hand, come do this program, give it a shot. Everything that we do has a 60-day you know, guarantee with all our products, but even the practices and principles, just incorporating a quarter of these you're going to be doing great. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit about this lesson. Make sure you do the life expectancy test. Figure out what's the expect you know, your expectation right now, and then start incorporating these things that will allow you to improve your score. And guess what? You can come back to this every six months as you incorporate things and watch the changes in your test. And ideally, we want to make a whole army of centurions where we're all you know, eating these foods and drinking the water, doing all this stuff and becoming biologically optimized. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's one that's really close to my heart and really passionate. I want you to live long and strong for, you know, many, many years to come. These principles will lead you to it. We'll see you on the next lesson.